Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon Transformers fans. My name is David Lees and in this video we'll be looking at Transformers Galaxies issue 5. We've finally put the Constructicons to rest. What a laborious and dull story that was. Uh, moving on to Cliffjumper, uh, one of the most underused characters in Transformers as compared to, for example, Bumblebee who is massively overused. So let's get started straight in. Um, we've moved uh, Cliffjumper running across the planet Probat which is an organic planet, um, trying to catch a lift, uh, an elevator, with Deathsaurus. Deathsaurus holds the door for him um, and they start walking through. Uh, Deathsaurus has brought Cliffjumper to this distant planet uh, to meet the locals. Uh, I'm going to fly through this faster than usual, um, but they're all delighted to see Cliffjumper because they all think, as you discover, they think he's Bumblebee. They work through echolocation, um, so they don't see colours, they just see shapes. Uh, and they think that Cliff Jumper is Bumblebee, um, and they're really delighted to meet such a personality. Um, if I had met Bumblebee, I'd be asking to see Cliff Jumper instead, but hey, that's just me. So, Deathsaurus, this large Decepticon with wings, has brought Cliff Jumper along, Cliff Jumper along for security. There's a running joke, he gets called all sorts of different things. We have Clodhopper on the first page, uh, we go through, um, and you can see uh, the local population delighted to see Bumblebee and you can see they come out in huge numbers with this click 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 uh, how are we pleased to be is it bright enough we can burn more substance um, my wing is healing would you do me the honor of shredding it uh, wait what huh? um, so it goes on uh, but they're all delighted to see Cliff Jumper who goes off to meet the, the local population while Deathsaurus meets the foreman of this planet, for, uh, Natalus, uh, foreman Natalus, and they talk about an energy, energon shipment that Deathsaurus is due to take back to Cybertron. Um, they're working with, with or above the local population to produce energon that they then take back. Um, well, yes, and they're all delighted to meet uh, Bumblebee. <laughs> I think the quote of the, page, the quote of the episode or issue. I'm never getting away from this, am I? And we read in wonderful uh, classic 1980s style comics, um, the time that Orion Pax said, Admiral work, Bumblebee, I can see combinations in your future. Oh, wow, Orion Pax, it, uh, it's uh, Cliff Jump, ah, and he slipped on some oil and the whole moment is lost. You see as uh, Orion fades into the background. Similarly, uh, I think this is Windblade here, possibly. Um, new paint job, Bumblebee? I'm not sure it works on you. Uh, I'm Cliff Jumper. That's a little extreme, but um, uh, don't you think it's not that bad? Like he's gonna throw himself or jump up a cliff? Uh, uh, yeah, this is a little extreme. One side, Bumblebee. This is Starscream plowing through. It's it's Bumblebee. Uh, yeah, I think that's a typo actually. Uh, as in, it should be it's Cliff Jumper. So there you go. Um, even the writers have fluffed it there. Oh come on. So they're all happy to meet him, uh, and they, meanwhile, Natalus and Deathsaurus go off on a discussion. Bumblebee, I mean Cliff Jumper, I'm doing it now, go down into the underground uh, where they go through this long religious ceremony about the history of their planet and how they eat the um, eat this substance that they then burn and refine into hyper refined energon. I am flying through this. It's a good read, but it sets it up beautifully. Um, they kind of they grow these things uh, and then burn them, and the ash, so to speak, is actually top quality energy. On. So they have this discussion. Um, so says that's sustainable. Oh yes, we do not use more than we need. That is for the untorn one who flies like the bee. What, Natalus? You give him your fuel. It is not for us to waste. No, it is for the facility. Um, oh, so you can see um, Cliff Jumper catching on to what's going on here. I am moving through it fairly quickly, as I said, but uh, it turns out that Natalus is exploiting the people, um, or the miners, or whatever you want to call them, um, to produce energy on without giving them their fair share of the pay. Let me move on. Uh, Deathsaurus goes to see Natalus, and Natalus explains that the last next shipment is a little shy of what it should be. Um, and Deathsaurus says, this isn't shy, this is Craven, where's the rest of it? Come now, Ambassador, we've done what we can under the circumstances. I'm hearing a lot of excuses, a lot of we. You know where I usually hear that? 
last words and he punches through the wall and finds a great stock of surplus energon also there um, as I said Cliff Jumper works out what's going on meanwhile Death Saurus which is a lovely name for a, an Autobot don't you think <coughs> maybe not uh, please ambassador I was we've been hoarding storing for against some unknown disaster and Death Saurus gets more and more agitated annoyed frustrated and angry that's not a disaster he says as he transforms into his kind of dragon mode possibly it's certainly a, like a bird's head with wings and claws and tail um, it's a catastrophe nice artwork not my uh, favorite kind of choice of picture but the style is nice I like the bright colors and all that stuff you know me um, and Death Saurus just basically frazzles the foreman Nautilus to the ground uh, what happened did he attack you uh, Death Saurus replies no um, he wasn't suicidally stupid sorry he was suicidally stupid not stupidly suicidal so the deal is I mean the living in the era of the um, Energon edicts the nominous edicts where the uh, Energon is heavily rationed and stored and set aside not used um, and Death Source has just found his own personal uh, supply that you can get out of the local residence and probably will do um, Cliff Jumper doesn't want in on it. What they're going to do is burn the whole village, city, towers to the ground, um, get the refined energy on and lip off it. And Cliff Jumper, with his uh, moral sense of duty, towers the village. We can't. I can't let you do this. They're innocent. Death Saurus doesn't take too kindly to this and gives Cliff Jumper a running jump. Sends him into the wreckage of the building. This is a one time offer. I suggest you take it. So, what's it going to be? cliffhanger to be continued really good story um, obviously Death Source is going to be a Decepticon will he live will he die who knows what's going to happen to the local residents you know the indigenous population again not sure so nice story much better than the Constructicons one where you knew the end right from the beginning uh, and it was slow painful and laborious yeah it kind of takes a little time over the plot but it does move through pretty quickly um, and so have I next issue more of the same, there's Death Saurus in kind of a stained glass window uh, image here. I'm not sure how well that's been picked up. Uh, Cliff Jumper walking through the ashes. And then the cover gallery, uh, the classic one I've purchased here. Yes, the Cliff Jumper apparently living in Bumblebee's shadow. It's not, it's the other way around. Bumblebee, you are annoying. Um, more of the same and the same. So, nice colours, nice artwork. I really enjoyed this one. The promo is at the back for Kill Lock. Uh, I've missed that one completely and no, have, have no intention of buying it. Buffy and Angel, uh, likewise, no interest in them either. Uh, the Umbrella Academy and Lock and Key, not really, not hitting me with the adverts this time. So there we go. And then the usual blurb on the back. So, all in all, I will give this one a fairly high tentative recommendation, sort of 7, 8 out of 10. So I'm pleased with it. It's looking much brighter and more hopeful. Uh, in terms of sto storyline and plot and then the Constructicons one which was drab, dreary and dull the artwork matched the story and it was always boring uh, this much brighter, much more interesting like to see what's going to happen next will we see more Autobots? will we see Bumblebee? who knows? stay tuned, thanks for watching uh, please do like, comment and subscribe I'll be back very soon uh, the new issue of Transformers is out tomorrow as I record this um, so it'll be interesting to see how Megatron takes over Cybertron Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.